for maybe the first time in the Miami Heat's historic second half, head coach Eric Spolster didn't have an answer. His team had just completed the league's first rise from being 13 games below .500 it was 19 under in this case back to an even 41-41. The Heat, who were 11-30 at the midway point of the 2016-17 season, had secured their 30th victory since January 17, a feat bettered only by the superpower Golden State Warriors. But none of it mattered. Or rather, none of it changed the fact Miami's season-ending 110-102 win over the Washington Wizards was just that a season-ender. By way of a 2-1 season series loss to the Chicago Bulls, decided way back during a December 10 matchup in which Josh McRoberts and Derek Williams both logged 22-plus minutes, the Heat had seen their playoff ticket ripped out of their hands. It just doesn't feel right, Spolster said during an emotional post-game session in which he struggled for nearly 15 minutes to find explanations that never came. It doesn't feel like the basketball gods shined down on us. This feels like a loss in the finals. The way we've been going for the last three months, that's how emotional it is in the locker room. Most tears were kept behind closed doors, but a few made their way into the media sessions. The finality of the season carried more weight than the typical curtain drop, because it came so suddenly and on several levels unexpectedly. But maybe this ending was never supposed to make sense. The entire story never did. The Heat played the full season without the team's highest paid player and lone proven star, Chris Bosch, whose present and future with the club were wiped out by another battle with blood clots. Miami's highest profile prospect, Justice Winslow, last suited up on December 30th, when the Heat sported an abysmal 10-24 mark, and he suffered a shoulder injury that ended his run. Miami's only hope was to rally around a roster that essentially consisted of a series of restoration projects. Every player had been devalued at one point, or, in most cases, more, in his basketball career. And a lot of them spent the year under the microscope with contracts set to expire upon its conclusion. It seemed if the heat were going to grow anything organically, it would be a few weeds sprouting up between cracks in the pavement. The biggest thing we were thinking about and planning for as a staff coming out of training camp was how were we going to get a bunch of strangers guys on free agent contract years, guys with every reason not to buy into a team and a lot of departures from people who knew what our culture is about how were we going to get a group together that would really care about each other and play for each other. Spolstra said. And yet, as the heat scrambled through an improbable climb from irrelevant to dangerous, cohesiveness became their greatest strength.